but so successful versus Montreal was the scheme that was implemented specifically for the Alouettes defense and that was to get him outside with a quick toss something they hadn't run all season long now I suspect that Charles Roberts will likely attack in these lanes right here rather than get outside a little bit more because the strength of the Argo defense is the quickness at linebacker second and nine Glenn to oh. Stiegel incomplete went high and was tagged by Jordan Younger for his troubles well, Milt Stegall continues to bounce back from the big heat hit he took versus the Edmonton Eskimos that caused him to miss a game. Said he's feeling no ill effects from the post-concussion syndrome. A hit from Davis Sanchez, and he is back, led the team again last week. Look at that average. John Ryan, the 23-year-old, 52.3, but the Argos think they might be able to return kicks against Ryan today with Bashar Levingston. Punt is angled, and Levingston uh -oh. had trouble with it, but it's picked up by Pirate Parker, and he'll be taken down back at the six by Willie Fells. So Levingston had trouble getting the handle bailed out by Parker, and seven the loss after a 43-yard punt. So Damon Allen leads the offense, his first four-touchdown game in three years on Thursday night against Montreal. Yeah, threw for 320 yards, completed around 68% of his passes. Damon Allen is off to a tremendous start. He's got a great receiving core. Baker looks like he's back on track. Arlan Bruce back in the lineup, and there's the offensive line. Chad Folk at center. Arlan Bruce convincing Pinball Clemens that he could go today. A late addition to this lineup, and a ball in the flat, and Robert Baker, who was featured in our pre-game show with a catch and gives that Argo offense some breathing room. Well, the key for the Winnipeg Blue Bombers will be their front four and whether or not they can sustain pressure against Damon Allen and it'll be Doug Brown and Joe Fleming most important to push that pocket back in the middle. Now some changes in the linebacking core. Ron Ockamy, the former BC Lion in the lineup for Lamar McGriggs. Willie Fells, a second start for Rylan Wickman. There's your secondary one change there. Cedric Dickerson starts at half back. 14 for Robert Baker and a first down for the Argos and they pitch it here is John Avery Avery with seven carries 28 yards in Montreal not quite what he did in 2002 when he led the league but an encouraging first step the Argos field to getting him back yeah and I agree with Matt Dunnigan who said in the pregame show that he's scratching the surface John Avery is still one of the great weapons in the Canadian Football League he didn't have a breakout game against Montreal on Thursday but he contributed in a big way especially catching the football out of the backfield that's what they need from him again tonight just a pair for Avery so second and eight Allen steps up in trouble and down at the 20 yard line Sean Woodson off the edge having an outstanding year at the will linebacker spot for the Bombers. Well, and he does it by disguise. In this case, Damon Allen looks like when he looks at Sean Woodson that he's way over here and, and going to be in coverage. And because he doesn't see him right up there in the box, he just rules him out as a possible threat. But Woodson disguises it from outside, comes off the edge. John Avery doesn't pick him up, doesn't notice him, and he provides the pressure and gets Damon Allen down. Woodson's first sack of the year to go along with 25 tackles which is tied for fifth in the Canadian Football League and Prefontaine has to kick to Keith Stokes so Stokes